Item number SCP-4095 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-4095 is kept in a filing cabinet in Site-73 and may be used freely by any Class II personnel with permission by any researcher having experience with SCP-4095. SCP-4095 is kept in a filing cabinet in Site-73 and may only be experimented on with Class D subjects or subjects who have cleared a complete psychological examination. Experimentation further requires written consent by two senior researchers having prior experience with SCP-4095. SCP-4095 is a Valentine's Day card measuring 15 cm by 10 cm when closed and printed on vellum cardstock. The face of the card is primarily sage and depicts a cartoon owl perching on a branch with the text Guess Who Loves You above it. Thousands of cards of this model were printed by the Greeting Card Company in 2002, but only SCP-4095 displays anomalous properties. The anomalous effects of SCP-4095 are manifested when a human, hereafter SCP-4095-1, opens SCP-4095 to view its contents. For each person, SCP-4095 will contain a different handwritten list of names. SCP-4095-1 will become convinced it is a list of people who love them. In the great majority of cases, SCP-4095-1 is not surprised at the content of the list as it regularly contains family members and romantic partners. In the remaining cases, SCP-4095-1 will firmly believe one or more names are missing. Because of the subjective nature of love, it cannot be said with certainty whether or not SCP-4095-1 is justified in their belief. SCP-4095 does not exhibit any other anomalous properties. Research into the extent of the anomalous powers of SCP-4095 is ongoing and may include decreased mental stability of SCP-4095-1 in the aforementioned cases. Log of Notable Experiments Test 4095-A January 20, 2007 Subject, Dr. DeForest Procedure Dr. DeForest opened SCP-4095 Results SCP-4095 listed Dr. DeForest's family members, wife, and children DeForest, DeForest, and DeForest. SCP-4095 also included Dr. DeForest's own name. Analysis: SCP-4095 recognizes platonic love as well as romantic. Test 4095-A1, September 2, 2010. Subject: Dr. DeForest. Special note: Dr. DeForest's father. DeForest died on August 15, 2010, shortly before the test. Procedure: Dr. DeForest opened SCP-4095. Results: SCP-4095 contained the same names as in Test 4095A, with the exception of the name of his father, DeForest. Researchers conclude SCP-4095 will not manifest the names of the dead. Test 4095B. February 1, 2007 Subject: Doctors DeForest and Walsh Procedure Dr. DeForest opened SCP-4095 and, without closing it, gave it to Dr. Walsh. Results: SCP-4095 only displayed the names as in the test 4095-A, Dr. DeForest's family and wife. Researchers conclude that, while open, the names on SCP-4095 do not change. It is only when closed and reopened does a transformation occur. Test 4095-C February 15, 2007 Subject, Mr. Procedure Mr. Opened SCP-4095 Results Mr. Showed great distress that the list on SCP-4095 did not contain his wife of 16 years. Without being instructed to by researchers, he opened and closed SCP-4095 multiple times rapidly to see if this issue would be corrected. On March 3, 2007, Mr. was apprehended while attempting to expose his wife to SCP with intent to kill her, a major breach of Foundation protocol. Mr. 
remains under Foundation psychological evaluation. Mr. was found to be mentally stable and properly ejected from the Foundation for morally reprehensible behavior. Mrs. was administered Class A amnestic and contained no recollection of the event. The Mr. and Mrs. divorced on April 21, 2007. Evaluation of the lens of mental instability SCP-4095 can create is underway. Notice, following the events of Test 4095-C, protocol to gain permission to experiment on SCP-4095 have been tightened. These entail that the only subjects of experiments with SCP-4095 must either be Class D or have passed extensive psychological evaluation. Test 4095-D, March 2, 2007 Subject, Miss Special Note, Miss is blind. Procedure Subject opened SCP-4095 Results The list on SCP-4095 continued to manifest as handwritten pen and not as braille, a behavior exhibited by SCP-1195. Notably, the list contained the name of Miss Seeing Eye Dog, whom she claimed to have a close relationship with. Test 4095-E, March 5, 2007 Subject, D-2386, convicted of patricide and arson Procedure D-2386 subject opened SCP-4095 Results In an extremely unique case, the text within SCP-4095 read, No one. Subject lacrimated, <clears throat> subject lacrimated profusely and asked to be terminated a request which was denied. D-2386 later acted in intentionally dangerous and disobedient ways during testing, apparently with intent to terminate himself. He succeeded on March 12, 2007. Test 4095-F April 23, 2007 Subject D-1995 Special Note D-1995 was admitted to the Foundation alongside his wife, D-1996, both convicted of Procedure D-1995 opened SCP-4095 Results SCP-4095 contained the names of D-1995's close family and the name of D-1996. Test 4095-F1 April 23, 2007 Subject D-1995 Procedure D-1995 was asked to cross out the name of D-1996 on SCP-4095 with a pen provided by researchers. Afterward, D-1996 was asked about her romantic feelings toward D-1995, who was situated in another room and did not know of the test. Results, D-1996 did not claim any change in her emotions toward D-1996. When SCP-4095 was closed and reopened, the marks made inside SCP-4095 by D-1995 did not return. Test 4095-F2 April 24, 2007 Subject D-1995 D-1996 Procedure Over a period of many hours, D-1996 was carefully administered Class E amnestics and implanted with false memories with the intent of causing D-1996 to forget about D-1995. D-1995 was not informed of this procedure. Following this, D-1995 opened SCP-4095. SCP-4095 contained the same names as in Test 4095-F, with the exception of D-1996's name. D-1995 expressed confusion and asked researchers if D-1996 had died. D-1995 also requested a pen to write D-1996's name into SCP-4095. This request was denied. D-1995 made this request repeatedly for three days. <laughs>